Hello everyone, I am Donnie and I'm going to show you guys five common moves that we like to do in hip hop, okay? So the first move I'm going to do, it has actually two ways to do it, okay? It's called a kickball change, okay? So, it looks like this. Okay? Another way you can do it is a step ball change. Okay? Now, yes, that is the same move. I know mean, y'all probably like, that's the same move. Yes, it is. It's a different variation to do it. Okay? So maybe somebody who is more advanced will kickball change. Maybe someone who's not advanced is going to go step. Okay? Now, doing this move, you have to have a bounce with this. That's one of the most common things that people tend to forget. You have to, especially the step, you gotta. You gotta bounce with it. So you're going up and down as you step. Okay? Even with the kickball chains, you have to think bounce, 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 bounce. Okay? Um, also, with this move, people tend to not use their arms, which is why I always give on. So when you're doing it, you want to think kickball change, kickball change. Kick ball change, kick ball change. Okay? Again, so that's the main two things that people typically forget in this, this move. There's not many things you can forget in this move because your body automatically is not gonna let you. Okay? So remember, using your arms, like you're partying, and the bounce, and the bounce, and the bounce, and the bounce. Okay? So remember that, okay? Have fun with it. Yes? Um, feet. I typically kind of keep on my toes again because it kind of helps me with the bounce. Now, if you want to stay flat footed, you can, but for me, typically, I like to be on my toes because it helps. Even with the kickball challenge, I'm on my toes. As you can see, my heels never touch the floor really. Okay. So those are the common things that people tend to forget in that move. Alright? So another move that's commonly used in hip hop, I call it the elbow throw, and you'll see why. Okay? Now, <laughs> this is, I'm sorry, I'm laughing because this is the one everyone always kind of does a little funky. Um, so breaking it down, you want to think always in opposition, okay? Some people like to do it like this, and then it throws them off. So you want to think opposition. So my arm is going back, so my chest should go forward, okay? My chest goes back, my arm goes forward. Now I'm going to slide so that my arm can be thrown. So you want to think about get out the way. Okay, same thing to the other side. You wanna pull back, chest goes forward, arm goes forward, chest goes back. Now I'm gonna throw it to tell you to get out of my way. Okay, so feet wise for this move, there's really not any feet positions. All you gotta remember is first off, I guess there is, stay planted on the beginning part. You don't move your feet until you slide whichever direction you're going. So then you'll step and bring the, the back leg in. Okay? And then you reverse it. Out. Back. My feet are planted. Throw it. Slide. Okay? And you always throw the arm the opposite way you're sliding. So I'm sliding to the left. My arm is going to end to the right. If I'm sliding to the right, my arm will end to the left. Okay? Another move that we typically like to do, I call it round and round we go. You'll see why. So, okay, I'll do it one more time just so you can see it. Okay, now, common mistakes for this move is not being in a nice plie, okay? That plie is gonna help you get around quick, especially if your instructor has um, a fast song. 
okay? The more you're bent, the easier it is. Hip hop is known for being very grounded, okay? So you never wanna be upright in hip hop, okay? Unless you're told to. So you wanna really bend those legs, and your feet are going in. Step, step, okay? So you're kind of making a square, in a sense. Okay, I'm going hit, 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 okay? And you're also going up and down. So I'm going up, down, up, down, to end to the front. Also, upper body, okay? You want to think about rolling everything. Okay, so you try to do it like this. You do not want to initiate from your shoulders. You want to let your midsection do the work. Midsection. Shoulders just happen to go. If you ever remember when they did this, the dun, 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 jump on it. That's basically what it is. That's a, a broke down version of this. So you want to get the hips going and the upper body will go with it. Okay? Shoulders are the last thing to go and they just follow. Don't worry about the shoulders. Okay? Those are the common things that people forget in that move. Okay? Also, always look for attitude. Attitude is the key to anything, especially if you feel like you're messing up. Attitude will save it. Okay? I promise. Alright, another common move that I personally love to do, okay? I call it the, the throw rock or the rock throw. Okay? Looks like this. Okay? Breaking this down, okay? Something that people typically forget to do is the rock. I know you're like, really? Yes. Sometimes when you're doing two different things, it kind of throws you off because you're focusing more on one or the other. It's one of these moves. Okay? So you really want to Rock that hip. Okay? You wanna get into that hip. Another thing I'm doing that people typically forget, they like to keep their feet planted. For me, for me to get more into the move, your heel is gonna come up as you do this. So you're gonna go heel, 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 heel. So then you can really use that hip and get into that, okay? And you add the arms. And your arms going out, front, out, front. So each rock is a different arm. That also is a common mistake that people like to do. They like to think that they're supposed to keep the arms the same so because of the hips. You don't want that, you want to add some flavor to it. So if you change the arms, it makes it look a little better. Also, because it's hip hop. I open my hands. Like when I'm talking with my hands, I'm telling you a story with my hands, that's how you want to feel about it. So you really want your hands, like you're cupping something, you're scooping something. So you want to scoop, push it up away, scoop, push up away, scoop, push it, scoop, push it. Okay? Um, that's really it for this, that move. Just remember, use that heel, that heel is gonna kinda help you get into that. Okay, remember your hands and have fun with this move. To me, this is a groove move or what we call a groove. Um, it's a move that I would put in to catch my breath. Okay, just a nice little, just a nice little groovy move that you can do as you catch your breath. Okay, another common move that we love to do here is I forgot what I meant. I love you. I forgot what I named it. The knee pool. Okay, there we go. Another kind of move that we like to do, I call it the knee pool. Okay? It looks like I'm starting a long more, but I call it the knee pool. So you're gonna go. Okay? So, common things that people forget about this one. They always wanna go the same way. So they always want to go out. So what I'm doing is, when the hip comes up, the hand should be going to that, um, that hip. So I'm going pull. So that hip and hand should meet each other. So you shouldn't think outward because 
your uh, hip is out. Everything should meet each other. Meet out. Meet it out. Hit it. Hit it. Okay? Also, how low can you go? Can you go down low? All the way to the floor. You want to be nice and deep in your plie. So you want to get as low as you can get. If you ever seen any major X or anything, this is a move that they typically also do and they're really, really low. So you want to try to get as low as you can in this move. I'm old, so these knees aren't what they used to. So get as low as you want and you want to think about in, 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 in. Twist it in, twist it in, twist, twist. The hip is going to naturally go up and down. You don't have to try to force it. The knee going in is gonna make the hip go up. Remember, everything is connected, okay? So, again, you wanna go pull, pull. You wanna add doubles, you can. Pull, pull, double it up. Also, if you notice, I'm going up and down again. So you are getting a workout in there. So you wanna think up, down. So when the knee comes back open, you wanna think down. Up, down.